first cache of the day. This is a new type for me. I've never found one of these. It's called a webcam cache. So basically I got my mom at home on the computer and there's a webcam somewhere around here. And we need to uh, be in the frame. And then my mom's going to take a picture of us and send it to me. And that's what counts as the find. So kind of cool. So we'll see you in a little bit. Are We're at the webcam. Right now? Yes. There's the webcam right there. My mom was trying to focus on us. Not yet, the zoom went funky. So there she is. My mom is trying to <laughs> take a picture of us from up there. And we are here at the bench. This bench. Hold on. She said, hold on. So we're waiting. And from back there, this camera will look like a GPS, so it'll be just fine. You could use your other GPS and help them up there. I could. So we're just waiting for my mom to take a picture of us. Looking all ridiculous out here. Our first actual cache on day six of our trip. I think I lost count somewhere, but I recounted this morning. And this is actually day six, because we left last Wednesday. Today is Monday. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to find this actual container. First one. Driving through the Oregon forest, the Oregon mountains. It's kind of bright out front though, it's hard to tell what's going on. Jimmy is still driving. There's construction or something going on there. Uh, actually, Jimmy is not driving. I am uh, the robot. I was going to say something in the back. I was going to say something true. Oh, it's way too bright now. What was Your that? iPhone has lost its GPS signal. Um, we just got first to find on a cache in Oregon. Um, it's very crazy how you get to it. And uh, there was already one DNF. So... I think you have to go on the other side. Anyway, we got first to find. But it's crazy how you get to it. It's like you have to do a lot of climbing and stuff. Let me show you. Okay. It's under this bridge. Down here. Walk down here. There's Mike signing the log. Anyway, there's all our stuff down there. Anyway, um, here, let me rehide the cat. I want to go up there. You do? Yeah. Well, I'm the one who grabbed it at first. Now Mike's gonna rehide it. It was under that thing right there. This one was published September 22nd, 2011, so almost a little over two months ago. There was one attempt on 9.30, who couldn't find it. Um, yeah, so basically we were, I was looking at the map, and I said, this one doesn't have any finds on it, we should get it on our way back. And uh, so we attempted. <laughs> been here probably about half an hour looking and all it's magnetic so you can see all these beams. Yeah. Any of these could be a good hiding place and they're all I beams so it could be like on top. Or could have been anywhere top. around here. I even was starting to check across the creek but uh. I'll, hold on. Mike spotted it when I was over there. I just I was looking for places where would I hide it and I saw it. <coughs> opening, I shine my light up there. Sorry, I, I saw just a little tiny bit of a shadow, and I was like, I think that's it. And but I was down here, and it's way up there. Yeah. So I was like, how do you get there? So I showed Jimmy, and he climbed up here. Maybe I should hold the container and. Oh wait. It's, it's magnetic. It'll stay anywhere. I put it. <laughs> anyway.
Don't fall. No, I got it. My hands are on the side. Walk out here. Bring it down. It goes up here. That's where it is. Wow. That's where it's like. <laughs> That's a good hide. I found that entertaining. And we got a first to find as well. All the way in Oregon. We yeah, live we in California. First to find, like. Out of state, first to find. Just moving over here so it's safe to jump. All right, and that's like a legitimate co first to find because I just grabbed it. I, I spotted it and Jimmy went up and grabbed it, so. That was pretty cool. Good one. That last one ended up being more interesting than I thought it would. And I forgot the camera because I thought it would be simple. And we're gonna get one, you just pull off the side of the freeway. You just go around this corner, there's a simple, just little thing under a rock, very easy. And then I thought we were gonna get back on the freeway. But there was another one that was a tenth of a mile. So we continued down that road, a tenth of a mile. It turns out that it's actually 40 feet to the left of us, which would put us up on top of this hill. But just watch this hill as we're driving by. As you can tell, it's getting higher and higher and higher. So we were actually up on top of that hill looking over I-5. We were way up there looking down at the cars on I-5 to get a cache up there. It was pretty go cool. back. We're already cool. past it. I wish I got a view from there. It was pretty cool, but oh well. I didn't know it was going to be that interesting. So, anyway. See you later. It is now starting to get dark. So we will find less caches and we will travel further distances between them. We still are in Oregon. We still have quite a ways to even get to California, and then we have to get to Redding. Yes. As you can see, we are... I don't know if you can read that. So if I hold it vertical, I can go like this, and I can adjust the cutoff by tilting it forward and back, like so. And I also set left and right tilt to adjust the pitch. Like so. You can actually play this instrument by steering the car left or right and accelerating and braking. So the instrument changes based on how you drive. I'm going to let Jimmy try it. Here's Jimmy. He will attempt to play dubstep with the car as an instrument. Cool. So I'm just going to push my finger on a key and just hold it there and Jimmy will play the instrument. Ready? Oops. Turn the other way. No, just go straight. Continue on this road for ah. 182.1 miles. Karen is messing up our music. Hit the brakes a little bit. Gas. <laughs> when you turn, it'll be funny. Accelerate. <laughs> it doesn't work as well as like if I just play it. Anyway, we're continuing now. Oregon thanks you. Come back soon. This one says, welcome to California, but it was hard to see. We have entered California. We're almost home. Well, California is here. But oops, we're almost to the city in which I live. Yeah, we're about 120 miles away. Yeah, that's almost. Oh, well, when, when you're like 400, 500 miles away, 120 is pretty close. 
It's several hours after I last recorded, I think. About two, and uh, we made it back. Yeah, we made it to Reading, finally. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna throw my stuff away. Yeah. Jimmy's on the phone. Yeah, already. it was a uh, 